So Cooper is saying goodbye to to Murphy, and he explains all the different ways in which time will slow down for him. Mm-hmm. One for you, one for me. When I'm up there in hypersleep, or or traveling near the speed of light, or near a black hole, time's gonna change for me. And it's gonna run more slowly when we get back. So we mentioned three different ways times will mm-hmm. time will slow down, slow down, mm-hmm. speed up. We'll think about that. He's going to do hypersleep. He's going to do mm-hmm. fast and light travel. Fast mm-hmm. not He's going to do near speed of light travel. <laughs> <I do. laughs> We've been watching other shows, and, and then he's also going to do general relativity time dilation. Because so can you explain? Mm-hmm. Can you explain? Is he going to speed up or slow down in any of these? So as far as I understand, this is so. The cryo sleep is just he's frozen. And okay. so he doesn't age while he's frozen, no matter how time is flowing outside. Oh, so so time is like normally flowing, but his right. biological time is frozen. Is frozen. So okay. I, that's not really time dilation in the relativity sense. I see. And then I think the, the time dilation due to his movement close to the speed of light. So that's special relativity? Special relativity. That's like the twin paradox. Oh, yeah, where yeah. He, he accelerates up. To a certain speed. That wait, wait, can, can we, what, what, twin, twin paradox, you have two twins. You have one of mm-hmm. them that lives on Earth. The other one, you send them off into space, get them up right. near the speed of light, and you bring yeah. them down, and then they come back at different ages. At different ages. And the one that, that was sent out, turned around, came back, is younger. Younger. Or has less time has lapsed for that person than for the one that stayed. Right. Right. So they, they, they catch up in age. Well, in this case, him and his daughter will get closer in age. If they're twins, the one that got sent away and came back would be younger than the one that stayed because time moved slower because they're going fast okay because they're going fast and there's some things about the acceleration causes some time time jumping when mm. you do the turnaround mm. but we'd have to we'd have to get out some pen and paper to figure it all out again <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and then what is the gravity one again? gravity is when you're near a large mass time space time curves and so time is slower when you're near the mass Mm-hmm. And so this happened. The way I remember this is um, satellites. So back when mm-hmm. satellites were being used, like early used for global positioning for for GPS, mm-hmm. then because we did not consider the general relativity effects between the height at the surface of the Earth versus the height of a of a satellite up in space, you would get like like you were driving along and now you're in a field somewhere and it's like mm, mm-hmm. the the time on the satellite was not keeping up correctly to what it should have been because we didn't consider that time was dilated. Mm. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. So I think that's the primary way that he skips time right. in the movie. Because he's gonna is... be near Garpgantua and right, so also they... on that water planet. But he doesn't know right. that now yet. Right. And I think the time dilation due to him going fast, well, he actually doesn't go very far. He goes to Saturn. Right. And the wormhole distances through the wormhole aren't that far. Right. Like by actual distance traveled. So I don't think he has to go close to the speed of light. I don't think he goes near speed of light to get to Saturn. I think they travel that at normal speed, which I guess is years already. Yeah. So you're not going to get much time dilation from that. Which I guess, I guess, I mean, what I'm saying is, Given our current rocket technology, to get to Saturn would take years. So if years, they get right. there in a few months, then they must have some pretty good engines on that thing that are maybe maybe they are getting near speed of light uh, or I don't, I th- some fraction of it. Yeah, I, think, I thought it took years in the movie. I wasn't. No, I'm not sure. But I, I guess he's a, he's asleep during that time, so he's not aging. So he gets some oh, good point. He gets, he gets some time gains there. But, but if I, think, I recall, I think she's kind of the same age i oh, gosh if i remember kind of the same age by the time he goes through the wormhole or at least tom is well, i thought I, I thought he was the, they were the so murph is this becomes the same age as cooper after he goes down to the tidal wave planet and comes right. back up right, right, right. so the time gains he gain he gets from being close to the black hole is the primary time gainer i thought and when he comes back right, up, right, right, he, right. Watch, he lists the watches the videos. Right. I, I'm asking the question of did he approach the speed of light on the way out to Saturn? I don't remember. I think not. I think not. I think not. Which means that the trip to Saturn is like seven years, something like that, right? Well, yeah, it's many years. Yeah. Oof, oof, oof. Maybe they have better tech, 
So let's say a couple years, maybe three. Sure, sure. Yeah, still, still pretty oofy. So pretty, pretty big time. Let's watch the last bit. Yeah. This is heartbreaking. This. So when I when this movie came out, I was like young in grad school, and this scene just it hits different once you have kids. Hey, by the time I get back, we we might even be the same age, you and me. What? Imagine that. You can see her put it together. And like you try to protect your kids, you try to make a like a good world for them, but like you slip, you slip, and she's precocious, she's she's smart, and like Mm -hmm. up. Right. So he's like, I'm trying to protect you. Bye. Okay, well (laughs) 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 Yeah, uh, that is that is what's happening here. Well, I mean, he's he's thinking he's going to save humanity, right? So he's protecting her in the big picture, right? I mean, he, he also thinks that he's going to be able to find the thing and come back and get her, right? But he also thinks like I'm an explorer, and people think about the dirt, like I'm I'm a sky person, right? Coop, coop, yeah. So you do the best you can to try to protect and and make a good world for your kids, and um, this is this is what Cooper does. I don't don't mind, don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. I thought that was really f***ed up. Don't make me leave like this? Like, come on. He like, put it, it on her. Put it, he put it on her. Like, he's making the call to leave. Like, you got to put that like, on you. I'm going to leave like this. Don't make it weird. <laughs> but it, it makes it sound like, the way he says it, it makes it sound like he's saying, you're making me leave. Right. I'm leaving. I'm cool. Mm-hmm. You're the problem. Yep. Like, that's that's f***ed up. That's right. Oh, so you're saying you're fuck- I'm saying she was right. She's the problem. Oh, yeah, she is the problem. Yep. Her emotional response, it's crazy. It's just well, also, if she had just been older, she could have been on the mission, too. That's right. So she should have grown up faster. Yep. Why, like, overcome your biology? Jeez. That's right. Unbelievable. Why are you bound to the three plus, three and a half dimensions like humans? And you're Pathetic. sad that your dad is leaving? Come on. Grow a pair. <laughs> 